<laughs> hey everybody, it's Richard and I'm back for another video. I haven't made a video in a while, but I'm glad you all enjoyed the videos of the elk that I posted. I was away somewhere where there was a lot of elk and we went there to, uh, uh, we went there to, uh, see the elk and it was a lot of fun. But, um, today I am back to review the Rolling Stones' latest single from their n upcoming album, Hackney Diamonds. Um, I didn't get a chance to review the first one, Angry, but I absolutely loved it. I, I think it's a great song and I think it'll be... <clears throat> a Stone's classic. So I wanted to make sure that I reviewed the second uh, single when it came out. Um, so um, I'm, I'm going to review it now. <clears throat> so this song features Lady Gaga and Stevie Wonder. I knew uh, Lady Gaga and Stevie Wonder were on this album, but I didn't know they were going to be on the same track. Um, so, it features Lady Gaga, Stevie Wonder, and it's called Sweet Sounds of Heaven. Um, now, I didn't know this song, this song apparently dropped, like, three days ago. And, like I said, I was out of town, so I didn't know, I, I hadn't heard it until last night. I've heard the song about three or four times now, and I absolutely love this song. I can't say enough about it. I think it's a great, great, great song. And here's something I never thought I would say in my life. The Rolling Stones took me to church. This is an unbelievable. It's like a gospel. It has a very gospel feel. And they said they did like a gospel song on their album, which I kind of thought was a little strange because I never thought that the Stones, I never really thought that the Stones would do like a gospel song, and it is a gospel song, and funny enough, it's a gospel style song, but it's also kind of a religious song, it's about God, it, it talks about God, and it is kind of a God song, it is a uh, kind of religious God song, so I... I just thought that was hilarious when I was listening to the words. I never thought the guy that did Sympathy for the Devil would be singing about God now when he's like when he's like 80 years old. Um, but this song is so amazing. It gives me like 70s, it has like a 60s, 70s feel, soul feel to it. And it's absolutely incredible. Mick Jagger's vocals on this are absolutely phenomenal. He sounds like Mick Jagger from the 60s. It's absolutely uh, amazing. Stevie Wonder, he doesn't have a vocal in it, but his playing on the song is just incredible. And Lady Gaga, oh my god, is absolutely incredible. Her, her, the high notes she hits on this are um, amazing. I love Lady Gaga. She's one of the, I don't really like newer artists, but she's one of the newer artist um, that I love, and I think she's immensely talented. So when I saw that she was doing a song with the Rolling Stones, I was really um, excited to hear how this turned out. Yeah, so this, like I said, this is gospel feel. It has like a 60s, 70s um, vibe to it. It sounds like a like an old school um, um, soul song. Or some like a soul song from the sixties and seventies, and it and it has and it has like a religious um, religious feel to it. It's something like I said. It's something that I would not have expected from the Stones. Um, it's something I definitely wouldn't have expected from the uh, Stones. Um, but it's absolutely amazing. Keith Richards. Uh, guitar playing on it is great, and uh, I just absolutely love this song. I'll put the link to it in the description. I wish I could remember some of. I wish I had the lyrics. I should have. I should have brought uh, my other phone in here and pulled up the lyrics. 
Because I love, I love, 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 love the lyrics. I'm not very religious, but the lyrics are amazing, so empowering. Um, again, an empowering song. It's not something that you expect from the song. It's uh, definitely an empowering song. Um, it can be emotional. You can definitely hear Mick is giving this. Mick is giving it, it, his all on this song. Mick's giving it everything he has. Um, and uh, like I said, Lady Gaga is just fun, phenomenal on this. <clears throat> Now, there is a short version and a long version. I prefer the long version. The short version is about five minutes, and it cuts out. Then there is a version that's like seven and a half minutes, and you've got Lady Gaga at the end with Mick Jagger doing, like, improvs, and they're going at it, going back and forth. They're, they're improving, and Lady Gaga's doing her crazy high, super high notes, and Mick going... Mick B and Mick Jagger, like, 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 rocking it out. So I definitely prefer the seven. It might be a longer, longer, but it's definitely my favorite. I love the seven minute version. The five minute version is great too, but I I love that extra two and a half minutes. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much what I think. I give this song an A plus, a ten out of ten. I don't usually grade songs. This is definitely, definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, I love it. I love it. I can't, I'm actually very excited for this album. Like I said, the first song, Angry, it's more of a regular Stone song, more of a rocker. What you would expect from the Stones. Mick sang, sounds great on it. It's definitely a Stones classic. My friend Steven said it reminded him of, of, of Start Me Up. I didn't get that, but I thought it was an amazing rocker. This song is more of a uh, mellow. Well, it's not mellow. Definitely not mellow because it, 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 Lady Gaga and Mick are just going at it the whole song. It's a, it's a more soul, um, gospel vibe. And it's incredible. And I definitely, definitely can't wait for this album. Now, the first two songs have me really, really impressed. I haven't listened to any of the Stones' newer material, but I'm definitely really interested in this album, and I'm hoping that the next, if they release another single, there's 12 songs on the album, I'm hoping that they do one more single, and it will be the song with Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney. I'm hoping that will be the next single, um, so I can, I can't, because that's the one I'm most excited about. Um, I also think Elton John is on this album, and I can't wait for that either. Um, so, that's my review of the Stones' newest single for their um, album, Hackney Diamonds. I think it's coming out this month. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's coming out on October 20th. Maybe I, I might be wrong on that, but that's their newest single from their upcoming album, Hackney Diamonds. Their new, their first new album in seven years, and it's a good one. Sweet Sounds of Heaven. I give it an A plus and a ten out of ten. So that is my review for the Stones' new song. I can't get enough of it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you're new, if you're new to this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, um, and please hit the notification bell so you'll always be notified when I do a new video. I appreciate anybody who subscribes over here and anybody who watches my videos. It, it just really means a lot to me. So thank you for your support. Until next time, peace and love. Peace and love is the only way.